Hi Year 9, in today's lesson you're going to be looking at what the Bible teaches about capital punishment. So by the end of the lesson you'll be able to describe what the Bible teaches about capital punishment. So to begin, so you're going to be looking at what the Bible teaches about capital punishment. The first thing that I'm going to ask you to do, whether you're working on your device, paper or whiteboard, is to create a tea table that looks something like this on the right hand side. So on one side you're going to write down for, on one side you're going to write down against. Can you please open up the worksheet which is uploaded onto class charts? You are going to be reading through that sheet. On that sheet it's got reasons why Christians agree with capital punishment and reasons why Christians disagree with capital punishment. So after reading through it you would have gathered some information. You should have written down two things on the for side and two things on the against side including one quote on each side. Your master task is to look at whether everyone deserves forgiveness and do you agree or disagree with that and why. So before we move on to the next slide, I want you to make sure that you've got all the reasons why Christians agree and disagree with the death penalty because you are now going to self-assess. So remember with self-assessing, so you're going to grab a different coloured pen and you're going to mark your work or you're going to add in reasons that you might have missed out. So Christians are both for and against death penalty so some christians agree with the death penalty some christians do not agree with the death penalty so christians agree with the death penalty if they look at the old testament which the old testament sets down the death penalty as a punishment for a number of crimes which proves that god allowed the death penalty there is also a quote from the old testament that says if there is serious injury, you are to take life for life, an eye for an eye, or a tooth for a tooth. Now this shows that Christians believe in retribution, and you might have heard of this quote before, which is why some people believe in capital punishment. However, some Christians are against capital punishment because Jesus taught people to forgive one another. Jesus said, I tell you, don't forgive not seven times, but 77 times. And Jesus also taught one another to love your neighbour. Now you might remember this quote from year 7 when we looked at the parable of the Good Samaritan. Also, the Ten Commandments clearly state, do not murder. Which is why some people are against capital punishment. Now the quote, all life is sacred or special. Do you agree with that quote or disagree with the quote? And I want you to explain why for me that is your master task. So this is the activity that you are going to be uploading onto class charts and it's called Thoughts and Crosses. Before I put up the grid, I want you to choose three questions or three sentences that you are going to answer. But the only catch is that it has to be three in a row. Once you have completed these questions, please take a picture of your work and upload it to class charts. So this is a table that you're going to be looking at. I want you to choose three of these questions or sentences and it's going to be either across, down, below or diagonal. Your plenary for today's lesson is a balloon pop. Please follow the link on class charts to take you to this activity and you are going to pop the balloons and drop them into the keywords matching the definition. Thank you, Anine.